had always in my mind to maybe become a professional ski racer. I think the first time when I was on snow, it was uh, with my grandpa uh, in the backyard. I finished uh, school when I was 19. I, I had the, the high school standard at this time and uh, I had two ways. I could be learning something new or, or making my, my skiing thing going on. And uh, yeah, skiing was way more important than something else and uh, yeah that's how I end up. I don't like to describe me. <laughs> that's the first thing. <laughs> and I like training. I like having fun, like hanging out with uh, friends and uh, I'm, I'm consequent, yeah. I, I like that too. You're standing at the start in the Olympics and you're just thinking this is the highest thing um, you can do as a skier. Uh, you have World Cup races every week. You're doing the, the World Cup tour, but this race is only uh, once in four years. So you're standing there and you're thinking nothing. You can win this race. You're standing there and thinking, yeah, just go down, have fun and do whatever. I don't know, just be fast. And it worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I was never thinking about that, that I could be in, in this small group of elite skiers who won two Olympic gold medals, so it feels uh, great for me. I like all these guys, we, we have fun together, we, we make the same uh, downhill thing and uh, of course it is a little bit dangerous too. Through training, physical training, you can also reduce the risk. Everyone knows how hard it is to come back. Uh, to, yeah, to win a race, to, to give everything. So uh, there's a little mind thing together with, with every racer. <laughs>